Hey, this is Thomas with Believe in the Run. This is Robbie with Believe in the Run. And we're holding a shoe. Woo! It's a stunner, Stone Cold Stunner. Boom. New Balance Hyro V6. Robbie. I was trying to do six, but I only have this many fingers. Let me try. You got it. I guess I could just do this. Man, this is a good looking shoe, right? Huh? Yeah. We thought that we thought version five looked awesome and this is just so much, I mean. They I took it to it. six. Yeah. They're gonna probably go to seven because we're gonna give this a pretty cool review. Do you know why seven, six is afraid of seven? I should know this as a dad. Seven, eight, nine. I've heard it before. That's a it's good bad, one. yeah. I'll keep that in the pocket. So, the snowman, uh, does anybody else smell carrots? <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> That's it. I was I'm addicted gonna, to I'm, soap. I'm, trying to I'm think clean of, now. I'm trying to think of dad jokes out now. <laughs> I like that one. Oh, that's a good one. Isn't it? I'll have to remember that. Yeah. New Balance, Hyro V6. Mountain shoe! Yeah, a mountain shoe. So New Balance in their like spec sheet press report, uh, press release were like, look, this is a shoe that can go from your local trail to UTMB. I was like, uh, that's a little bit of a stretch. Like, well, how many people are actually doing the that? Brakes, There's like New three balance. dudes going. Yeah, like Killian and Jornet, he could probably take this. I like how he went Jornet. I mean, is that how it said? I'm, I don't, a, I'm, I'm a Frenchman. Jornet. I think he's French, right? Jornet. <laughs> it's like Jackard mesh upper. Yeah. <laughs> Jacquard. <laughs> Let's just start with the upper on this shoe. So last year's version was like a synthetic upper. It was kind of like rigid and not super comfortable, although it looked really cool. This one, man, engineer mesh, very comfortable. A lot of padding here on the heel collar. You got the heel pull tab. Who doesn't love that the little trail design? I like this, by the way. I'm moving on a little bit, but the mountains, how it goes up like a mountain. Integrated design. It's pretty sick. You got this toe cap here, like reinforced, like. Rubberized. It's, it's rubberized, it's not really rubber, but. I don't think it's rubberized. Mm, I don't know. Anyways. It's gonna be our best review ever. You got this You're cork, lucky. cork tongue, tongue patch up here. Yeah. I don't know why I like that so He much. likes it because he thought it was leather and it turns out it's cork. <laughs> And he's really, like, you fooled me. <laughs> yeah, you got me on the vegan front. You got me. Um, and then just a comfortable tongue, gusseted it. You got everything I wanted in an upper. Probably isn't gonna be the best draining shoe. There's a lot of A lot fabric. of cushion in here to yeah. soak up. This could be like a giant sponge with a stream crossing. Right, so, and by the way, it's a heavy shoe too. At uh, men's size nine is 11.9 ounces, 337 grams. It is actually an ounce lighter than the last version. But you throw some mud on this, some water in it, yeah, you're carrying- You're going full 30 pound of shoe. You got cement blocks there. Yeah. What I do like about this upper, Robbie, is this rubberized part mm -hmm. does provide protection in the area where a lot of people bust out of their trail shoes along these sides. And this upper has, doesn't it have some sort of fiber in the mesh? It, do, it does, it's like, it's not Kevlar fiber, but somewhere along those lines for like- Really durable, like ain't gonna rip. Yeah. You can hit it with a stone. It's, Got it. TPU. TPU. Basically plastic. That's plastic. Upper. Yeah. Altogether, really nice, really comfortable upper. You get a good lockdown on it too, which is always nice, of course. Moving on to the midsole. It's Fresh Foam X. What can version I, of can that? Can I take you back one step? Oh my gosh. I know. I it's got rolling. a gusseted tongue, everyone. I did. I said it. Oh, you did? did. Okay. With the midsole, Fresh Foam X, it's pretty soft, like not soft, soft, but like responsive. Pretty nice. I think it's a regular. Just fresh foam that whatever. would be in the 1080. I think that the durometer might be a little firmer. We got 28 stack height in the heel, 20 in the forefoot for an eight millimeter drop. What is this monster grip? You got this Vibra Mega Grip. Mega which Grip. If you run in trail shoes, you'll find that on other shoes like the Hoka Speed Goad, a bunch of shoes. It's kind of the go-to. I mean, look at that grip. Yeah, I mean, you're gripping it. I am gripping it. <laughs> look at that. Yeah, the Mega Grip is one of those outsoles that combines grip and durability. So it's not super hard, not super soft, it's, and it's gonna hang around for a while. I like this little spoiler. Of course there's a spoiler. Yeah, everybody's doing the heel rudder thing. It's not a Hoka 10-9 heel rudder, but you get a little bit of stabilization when you're coming through the stride and you land on that guy. Downhill action. I did get it caught on my stairs a couple times though, so yeah. I didn't die though. <laughs> He's still here. Oh, look, this is the ghost of me. Physical. Yeah. What if your hand just went right through? I would have blown my mind. That's probably the first time I've ever touched right. What if I made it was a ghost and I was pulling a sixth sense on you for the last couple of weeks? It's cold in here. Altogether, 
Very solid shoe, very nice ride. I would say this is good for uh, medium terrain, maybe lighter terrain. If you're going super technical, you're gonna get, go with something else. This does have that like entry level vibes where you're like, this looks cool as hell, but you also just wanna get in some nice trail runs every now and then. I could then. see this working for someone who has, say, a trail a mile and a half from their house, yeah. and they wanna run there. Well, the lugs aren't too aggressive, What's weird is soft that, cushioning. What's weird is that Taylor didn't think this translated great to road, but I ran with it on the road, and I thought it was, felt like exactly like a road shoe, so I don't know. It's if you wanna check out Taylor's picture, he reviews our shoes. As well, he's got great pictures because he's out there in the Rocky Mountains. Really cool stuff. So just check out Taylor Bodine. Oh, it's Taylor J. Bodine. Taylor J. Bodine on Instagram. And you can see some cool, you know, trail yeah. pics. And follow Believe and Ride. <laughs> yeah, if, as well as you're at it. Good, solid ride. Nice lockdown. So points it. for style. Points for cushioning. Oh, yeah. Points for upper comfortability. Comfortability. And points for Beaver Omega Grip Outsole. And then maybe and a point taken away. For weight. For weight. Yeah. So we're down to three. We'll give it a three point. Whatever that's, I don't even know what scale it's yeah. on. This shoe is $135 and it comes out on February 1st, 2020, unless the shipments are delayed, in which case we'll update you. Say hi to your mom. Yep. And especially if she's on the trail, maybe you get her a pair of these. Yeah, so we'll see you next time. But in the meantime, go ahead, like this video, subscribe to our channel, watch all of our reviews. Go to Instagram, like all of our photos. Yeah. Go to go back like five years and yeah, like all of them. Go to the podcast. Listen to all the podcasts. Mm -hmm. It's called the Drop. It's available anywhere. You get uh, podcast. Podcast. Yeah. You like listening to people. We like talking. Yeah. As you can see. Yeah. All right. Have a good one. Say hi to your mom. I already said that. And looks great in any situation. Yeah. Like. Black tie? Yeah, I mean, blue, you go high arrow blue six. Tie. Going to a Blue Man group show? High arrow six. Put this one on. Going to Blue Angels show? High arrow six. There you go. What's another blue and yellow thing? Chick fil A? High arrow That's, six. I mean, I guess so. The red and white. I was going with the blue and yellow thing. Oh, blue and yellow? Uh, <laughs> What's the blue and yellow restaurant? Nothing. Most restaurants are red because it gets your appetite going. Is that right? true? Yeah.